From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. President Trump is reportedly considering hiring a new White House Chief of Staff. Ah, uh, but where's he going to go to get a new chief with as super cool a Star Trek name as Rens Priebus? Welcome to 2017, where kids are being taught to write on computer keyboards in kindergarten, resulting in fewer and fewer knowing how to read handwriting. More than 85 percent of students now write the essay part of the SAT exam in block letters because they don't know how to write in cursive, nor do they know how to read cursive. The shocking part is that most teachers don't seem to care that handwriting is becoming a lost art. Oh yeah? Well, <laughs> you'll be singing another tune once the zombie apocalypse takes place and your precious iPad runs out of go-go juice. According to a survey, 7 in 10 motorists consider themselves better drivers than most other drivers on the road. The survey found that 50 percent of men rated their driving ability as excellent compared to 34 percent of women. But to most men, being an excellent driver means not being caught for speeding. You take Tylenol to relieve pain, and while it does that well, it may also relieve you of something else – joy. Researchers at The Ohio State University in Columbus discovered that acetaminophen, the primary ingredient in Tylenol, blunts positive emotions, a previously unknown side effect. And I can only assume Rosie O'Donnell always has a headache. Warren Buffett, who says he drinks up to five cans of Cherry Coke a day, is being featured on cans of Cherry Coke in China. Coca-Cola got permission from the billionaire investor to use his image on cans for a limited time while supplies last. Buffett's company, Berkshire Hathaway, is Coke's largest investor. So, drink Cherry Coke, and you too can look like a rich guy who's pushing 90. Speaking of rich guys who are pushing 90, Senator Bernie Sanders has launched his own self-titled podcast. And just like all of his socialist ideas, the podcast is free. For a while, Alabama's governor was refusing to leave office. But then the state brought in a couple of guys from United Airlines and he was out of there. United Airlines has apologized for dragging a passenger off a flight on Sunday. The company's CEO said it was sorry it had to reaccommodate the customers. He, he, <laughs> he's sorry they had to reaccommodate the customers? Well, all right, buddy. Hey, you know what? We're going to reaccommodate the way your airline does business by not doing business with your airline. Moving from United to Delta, a family intending to fly from New York to Florida kept getting bumped from one flight to the next, and each time, Delta paid them and they ended up pocketing $11,000. Hey, are you listening, United Airlines? Take notes, because that's how you do it. Ford has designed a baby crib that simulates a car ride. And that's great for the baby, but what about mom and dad, huh? How about a Ford vehicle that simulates a crib so we can get some shut-eye on the way to work? Quarterback Colin Kaepernick says he will now stand for the National Anthem. Wow, that is a, that's a pretty generous offer, I mean, con considering it's the off-season. The Seattle Mariners' ballpark is offering tacos topped with ground insects, which is actually halfway edible. I mean, if you smother it with a half a gallon of that fake nacho cheese sauce. A new museum in Sweden named the Museum of Failure is dedicated to celebrating failures. It's expecting to close any day now. Fresh Express has recalled its organic market-side spring mix from Walmart stores in the southeastern United States after a dead bat was found inside a packaged salad in Florida. But the bat did give the salad a five-star rating on freshness, so you know that's good to know. A Florida company that specializes in releasing doves at funerals will have to find a couple of replacements. During a recent graveside service, three doves were released. The cemetery is right next to a highway, and within seconds of release, a couple of the doves collided with a passing truck. Funeral services for the doves will take place next week, where they plan on releasing humans during the funeral. Those living in poverty in Rome will still be able to have clean clothes. Pope Francis has opened a free laundromat for the poor in the city. It currently has six washing machines, six dryers, and a few irons. Within a few months, they'll also have showers, a barber shop, and medical services that will be installed at that same location. Man, leave it to the Pope to
to find a way to have your soul and your clothes washed white as snow. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, well, thank you, but also please share this video on your own social media to help the channel grow. Have you signed up for the Marler Sheet? It is the official newsletter of Marler House. Subscribers to the Marler Sheet are automatically entered in monthly prize drawings, contests, and promotions. Sign up for the Marler Sheet free today at MarlerHouse.com. For more weird news anytime, visit DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marler, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!